I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, it's Tuesday. And you're hours away from taking a break for a few days. But first, a few announcements. We told you yesterday about the incredible job by both the fall play and the one-act play at the state theater meeting, but we didn't tell the whole story. MHS had six students participate in national individual events hosted by Wisconsin Thespians. All of the MHS students received superior or excellent ratings. That is great news. You may have already guessed this, but After Hours canceled for today after school. Hey juniors, you want to get some tips on how to improve your ACT scores? Today's topic is science. Sign up with Mr. Neeson during ASR2 today. Want to help out mom? The agency, not your mother, but that would be nice too. Let's hear from Jack on a new way to help out your community. Hey everybody, it's getting cold outside and kids in our community need our help. MHS is hosting a scarf, hat, and mitten drive. Look for these boxes around the school and place new scarves, hats, or mittens inside. Our donations will go to the Middleton Outreach Ministry before winter break, so bring a donation and help someone in need stay warm this winter. Thanks for your help. MHS Theater Winter Auditions meeting is Monday, November 27th in the PAC from 4 to 5 p.m. Come learn about the two winter shows and when auditions will be. Talk to KD if you have questions. Good luck to MHS Wrestling as they have a big tournament tonight. Girls basketball at Sun Prairie and good luck to MHS Hockey as they drop the puck at 7.30 p.m. at Madison Ice Arena. Go out and support your team. Do you have an embarrassing moment? Well, here's your chance to put it in the yearbook. Email a three to five sentence summary to the email that is listed on the screen. That's it for our announcements. And as we get ready for Thanksgiving, we go now to our reporters, Thorne and Liam. Thanksgiving trivia. Let's see how much MHS knows. Which of the following utensils were not used by the pilgrims on Thanksgiving? A, a knife, B, a fork, or C, a spoon? A spoon. C? Bold claim. I would have thought so as well, but it was actually a fork. You know? I guess they had soup or something. Which utensil was not used by the pilgrims to eat Thanksgiving dinner? Is it A, knife? Is it B, spoon? Or C, fork? Fork. Wow, you know your Thanksgiving trivia. In fact, it was fork. Hey, Phoebe. Hello. I got a quick question for you. All right. Of the Thanksgiving variety. Yeah. It's a true or false. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Do all turkeys gobble? True. False. Only male turkeys gobble, Phoebe. Better luck next time. <laughs> Pilgrim means foreigner or traveler from afar. Fact. This is a team effort? All right, all right. Would, hey now. Where is the best place to put a thermometer in the turkey? A, the breast. B, the middle of the back. And C, the thigh. The breast. <laughs> that is incorrect. It is C, the thigh. Good try. Hi, I'm with my friend Thomas Robson here. Some Thanksgiving trivia for you, Thomas. True or false? All turkeys can gobble. False. Some turkeys have laryngitis. Wow. A shocking, accurate statement from Thomas Robson. Thank you. Okay, tell me, what is a baby turkey called? Sorry, is it A, a chick, B, a nestling, or C, a poult? I'm going to go with a poult. And you will correct. Wow. Incredible. What is a baby turkey called? Is it A, a chick, B, a nestling, or C, a pulpit? <laughs> a poult, a poult, a 
pult. Hello. Me and... Question. Which of the following was not served at the Pilgrim's Thanksgiving dinner? Is it A, cranberries, corn, and mashed potatoes? Is it B, rabbit, chicken, wild turkey, or dried fruit? Or C, venison, parenthetically deer meat, fish, and goose? Uh, which one wasn't? Was not. Was not, then A. A is correct. Woo! Wow, proud of you. True or false? More than half of the people in Plymouth Colony died that winter of 1621. Oh, that's got to be true. Yes, it is. A sad, sad truth. Thank you for your time. Fact. The state of California consumes the most turkey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend. Done. That was such an awkward high five. That was a point. I know.